Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys hear a noise in the background, it's because my kid is here with me while I'm filming this video. But as you guys can tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about the time that I got scammed by a YouTuber. We're going small Walmart. Yeah, go. We're um, not going the big one. I'm not going to mention any names just because I don't want any problems. I really wasn't going to make this a video, but... I kind of want you guys to see like the real deal as well um, with the whole like business part too. Um, so just my reality, my experience, I want to share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys never go through this um, because it's a bummer. If you guys don't know and are new to my channel, um, I am a lash stylist. And I also do own my own company of Mink Lashes. If you guys are interested in just checking it out or following me on there, I do post my falsies as well as my lash work. Um, I'll have my website and my Instagram linked down below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I don't know too much about, you know, entrepreneuring and stuff like that, guys. So I did have to learn a lot, a lot. Um, and... I would just before before I went ahead and launched my lashes I actually tried to look for girls that I was interested in working in with as well seeing if they were interested in, interested in working with me as well so I just looked up on Instagram like on their explore page or I would just put hashtags on there and follow them and DM them and would just pretty much let them know what I was interested in and how I was interested in working with them if they were interested you know to let me know and we can make it happen so pretty much just so you guys can get an idea I sent out a text to these girls on their DMs on Instagram even though it said like to contact them through email they don't answer unless you're like a big company but um most of them answer just on Instagram I DM them and I was like telling them hey i love your work um i'd be interested in working with you or collabing with you for you to pretty much just model my lashes i would just like a picture with my lashes um if you want to you can also promote on your um on your instagram or if you like them like just give me the your feedback on them you know just trying to get different opinions here and there most of the girls that i gave my lashes out to they did come through which i'm so appreciative um so this one specific youtuber she she has a good following but she's not like a like a famous youtuber with her i would just like a picture with the lashes i really think i don't think with her i told her i wanted her to like promote them but if she wanted to that'd be great why not um so i shipped out the lashes to her i sent her like three pairs of lashes with my um packaging and everything and i gave them about like a week or so a little bit after a week because i know everybody's busy busy with their own lives they have things to do so i wasn't in a rush as well um and then like two weeks go by and I still haven't heard from her or like she did, hasn't sent me any pictures. So I DM'd her and I was like, hey, I'm just curious to know if you receive the lashes and when are you able to send me a picture. That way I can just promote it on my um, lash page on Instagram. And I, guys, I didn't even get a response back from her. Nothing. She just left it on red. So I took a loss there. I took the L. I lost money, um, I lost my lashes, I could have sent it to somebody else who was interested. Like, I could have just, she could have simply just let me know that she was not interested in it or whatever the case was. She didn't even have to answer, you know, but some people just want free stuff. And um, that's just how some people are because they're so used to getting stuff for free you know but i'm pretty sure it's because i'm not a big brand and i'm not trying to disown her or anything but in reality that's how it is if you if you really open your mind you know if you're open-minded 
some people just want things for free and I wouldn't be surprised so now I took more precautions and I'm I'm like careful with who I work with and I do let them know like hey this is if you're serious only like if you're not it's cool like because i did have another girl i gave her like two styles she only did one which is a bummer because i wanted both of them and i let like i said always communication is key so i let them know what i wanted um in return you know but it just sucks how some people you just never know people you know what their intentions are so it it was what it was i learned from the mistake so i i just let it go i brushed it off you know uh i don't look at i never really followed this youtuber either i just see her different like i just watched one video of hers before but i never was like really interested in her like for me to subscribe to her channel even before i started my lashes or anything um so it was like okay whatever like you just look at certain people or certain youtubers different than what they really look like but anyways um that's just my short story guys i hope like i said this doesn't happen to any of you that um are starting your own business or yeah and if this has happened to you guys let me know comment down below how you guys reacted what did you guys do or like how did you you handled it i'm interested in knowing to be honest because then if it happens to me again i know what to say or whatever but yeah like i said fingers crossed this doesn't happen to any of you guys um but yeah anyways before you guys head out don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye